Hey girl, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jasmine. Today I'm gonna be trying out the new Rare Beauty eyeshadow palettes. So I got these two in the mail. I'm so excited. Shout out to Rare Beauty for adding me to their PR list. I was like, what? they popped up in my DMs and I was like, what? Is that Rare Beauty in my DM? I'm gonna show you guys some swatches of the eyeshadow palettes and also show you guys this eye look. So if you wanna see, then keep on watching. Okay, girls, so I'm gonna use these e.l.f. sponges. I showed y'all these in my self-care haul and they are amazing. Like they feel so good and soft and just amazing. And I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty foundation. This is it here. And I'm gonna use this in combination with my um, NARS foundation. So I'm gonna use like a 50-50 ratio basically. So I'm gonna put some here. And this one is in the shade 450N. And then my NARS is in Marquise, which I've been really loving this foundation. This is the new um, soft matte complete foundation. So I'm just trying to mix it up, you know. <laughs> I like mixing up foundations for no reason at all, just you know. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna blend this in. Uh, by the way, it's been two weeks since I started Retin-A, um, which is basically like a skin treatment for a lot of different things, but I'm using it for um, acne and dark spots. So um, it's been two weeks and so far it's been pretty good. I'm only using a um, point 05 dose strength um strength so it's not super it's like i guess i think it's it's not the highest form and also i'm using the cream so it's also not as strong as like the gel so it's been so it's been good so far for me um i haven't had any like crazy symptoms except my brows <laughs> so you guys may or may not know that I got my brows microbladed back in August and since I started the um, Retin-A they have been fading you guys and it's a little sad because you know I was really enjoying the not having to do the brows everyday thing you know um, I did read online that if you apply like Vaseline over them it should help so I'm gonna start doing that but I just spent the last two weeks without doing that and I noticed that they did start fading away. So that's sad. Besides that though, it's been a good two weeks of treatment. I haven't had any um, serious dryness. I did have a little purge, but it's all good. I'm gonna add a little bit more right here. And then... For concealer, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way sculpting concealer and this is in the shade mocha so i'm gonna just use this one today i haven't used this in a while but this is definitely one of my favorite concealers and then i'm going to use the same sponge but like a smaller one so it comes the package came with three this is like a smaller size of the same sponge for powder today I'm gonna use my Zerma blend powder which is one of my favorites and I feel like I'm using a lot of my favorites today so there's that but I'm gonna take this powder on that same sponge and just press it under my eye. I cannot wait to get into these eyeshadows and see what they're like. And I know a lot of you guys have tried this powder and you like it, so yes, girl, like it's amazing. And then we're gonna just do this forehead area. And then I'm gonna just take a skinny brush and 
So we're gonna go into some bronzer and today I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is one of my favorites, is the Airbrush Bronzer from Charlotte. And this one is in number four, right? Yeah, number four deep. This is it here. I'm gonna just take this brush and start applying this to my cheeks. By the way, Sephora sale is coming up at the end of the month, so don't forget to get you a bronzer. I'm gonna take the sponge and just blend the edges together. The eyeshadow palettes don't have any matte shades in them, so I'm gonna use bronzer in my crease, and you can take whatever bronzer you use and just add it to your crease. This is gonna just help add some definition into your crease and that way you don't even need to use another eyeshadow palette you can just take your bronzer and just pop that right in there like I just did and then we're gonna blend it in so yeah we're just gonna go back and forth boom a boom all right guys so easy simple breezy <laughs> Cover girl. So these are the two palettes as I showed y'all already. Boom and boom, they look so beautiful. Oh my gosh. So in today's video, I'm gonna use Magnetic Spirit because it's just so beautiful. I feel like it's gonna be perfect for this season. It's just amazing for fall. So I'm gonna go ahead and Take a flat brush. So I'm gonna use a flat brush like this one and I'm gonna, oh, I don't know what shade to use, girl. These are all pretty. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here just because I feel like it's a really pretty, ooh, this is so pretty. This is such a pretty wine color. Oh yes, I love it. And I also feel like I can maybe layer another shade over it and I feel like it will look really pretty. So I'm gonna go with this one. This is so pretty. Wow. I love it. This is a beautiful formula. You guys, this is so pretty. Okay, I love this color. So I'm gonna take this same brush with the bronzer and kind of go back with it and blend these two together. Hey, just a little bit. I actually want to try this shade also, so I'm going to use a little bit of this one. This one is called Passion. I'm going to take a little bit of Passion and just pop it in the center to just add a little bit of, you know, spice. Ooh, that's pretty. Maybe I'll just add it everywhere. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. I really like this. Okay, so this is the combo that I'm gonna do. And I really like the way it looks. I think it's really, it's a simple look, but it's definitely like full of flavor, okay? Like it's not boring. So I'm gonna use the Khaki Haze palette from my lower lash line. You don't need to do that, but I wanted to add a little bit of, you know, extraness down there. So I'm gonna use this shade first and I'm gonna just put this right here and just blend it out. And then I'm gonna take the darker shade, which is this one here. All right, I'm gonna add this Essence Mascara to my lashes. Girl, my top lashes are crazy, okay? Like, I'm in desperate need of a lash fill. <laughs> and, um, my lash tag is completely booked for like three weeks. Like I have an appointment, but it's in three weeks. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's so hard to not have lash extensions when you're used to having lash extension. All right, so anyways, we're gonna go into the palette one more time and I'm gonna use, where's my brush? And I'm gonna just take this shade right here, the lightest shade, and pop it in the inner area right here. I'm gonna put a little bit of blush on. This is from Rare Beauty as well. I'm gonna just add this one to my cheeks. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use a brush today to apply it. Cause I saw Jackie Ina using a brush and I was like, hmm, try that. So I'm gonna use a brush today.
I'm also going to use the Rare Beauty highlighter and I'm going to just add some of that to my cheeks up here. Blend it in with a little sponge. And then I'm going to take one of my favorites, which is from Milk, and this is their highlighter that I love on over. I'm going to have to add some lashes today because these lashes are looking crazy. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh my gosh, I haven't done lashes in so long. I think I forgot how to do them. Much better. So much better. <laughs> in case you are wondering, these are from Remy. Um, Remy 3D from INV actually. And I got these at the beauty supply store. But I'm going to try to find them on Amazon so I can link them. I try to fix my hair up a little bit. I'm going to use this lip liner from Morphe. And it's in the shade Trendsetter. So I just use Fenty's uh, Fussy Lip Gloss instead. I feel like that looks better. Yes, girl. All right, so this is what I look like with the eyeshadow. And I think this is a beautiful look, perfect for the holiday season. I could definitely use this for Christmas or just like any holiday party. But I wanted to show you guys the palettes more in depth. I guess like swatches and stuff like that. So I just want to show you guys some swatches of these colors. Like show you guys all the colors, obviously. So this is the first palette called Magnetic Spirit. And then I'm going to show you guys swatches of each color. So this is the first shade here. And these do have names. This shade is called Passion. So this is Passion. So pretty. That was such a rough swatch. Like I was so hard. <laughs> so this is the next shade. Oh, this is so pretty. This one is called Grounded. Like I'm saying this like I did not just use this. So this is the one that I use on my eyelid and it's so beautiful. I love it. I actually did a combo of these two shades and girl, like these two together though, these two shades together, amazing. So those are the two that I use. And then the third one is called Clarity and it's a beautiful purple shade. Ooh, this is pretty. Girl, do you see this? This is so beautiful. And one thing I noticed about these palettes, both of them will be perfect for people with brown eyes because these colors all just look so beautiful on brown eyes. This shade right here is called Power. I did use this one in my crease, my inner corner, I mean. And then the next shade is called Ignite. So this is a beautiful orange shade and I definitely want to use this one during the fall. So pretty, like, oh my gosh. And then this one is called A Blaze, which is the last shade in the palette. Last shade is called A Blaze. Yes, all of these, all of these look amazing. So these are the shades swatched. They all look so beautiful. This is definitely my favorite, I feel like, because it's like me. This is the second palette, y'all. Like, it's so pretty as well. And I love the pop of green and so this is the second palette. This is called Confident Energy. And I can definitely see why because it has these beautiful pops of color. And I think they're just so pretty. So I'm going to swatch these as well for you guys. I'm going to put these on this arm here. So let me know which palette you guys like better in the comment section below. Let me know which is your favorite. All right. So we're going to start out with this shade called Trust. Oh, this is pretty... This is very similar to, no, it's not actually, not at all. Never mind that. <laughs> um, so this is the first color. This is a beautiful color. I like it. It has a little bit more of a pink sheen to it, like a salmon color, more so than the orange in this palette. You can see them kind of side by side-ish. The next shade is called Elevate. This is Elevate here. And it's like a silvery, jade color so like silvery green shade it's like a silvery green shade really really pretty and then the next one is called um strong so strong is a beautiful golden oh this is beautiful like it's literally a beautiful golden shade it looks so good 
The next shade, ooh, uh, I'm excited for this one. I love me a bronze shadow. This is called Gutsy, and it's a bronze shade, which I love a, I love a good bronze shade. Honestly, like, a bronze shade can make me fall in love with the, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Girl, like, this is beautiful. Okay, Selena, like, I love this shade. Actually, I know I said I like this palette better, <laughs> but after swatching that shade, I feel like it might be a tie. Like, I think I like these <laughs> equally. The next shade is called Willpower. So this is Willpower, which I'm really excited to try because it looks so good. This one here. Wow, like, okay, all right. Points were made, points were made. Like, I think, all right. I think I might have to readjust my opinion. I definitely think these are a tie. Just this color, like these two, to, oh, girl, like these are beautiful. And then the last shade is called a Boost. And let me, wait, does it say Boost? Cause I be saying all types of things. Yeah, this says Boost. You guys, if you watch my videos, you know, I be saying the wrong thing all the time. Like. I read things so quickly, sometimes I read the wrong word. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Yes, this is so pretty. The beautifulest jade green ever. So these are all the shades and they look so good, you guys. Like I think, I think she did a good job with these. These are so good. These are so pretty. These are so pretty. And if you guys wanted to add, you can use these on their own. You don't even need to have a matte shade with it. But if you wanted to add a matte, you could use a bronzer like I did and just have your bronzer and the eyeshadow or you can use another eyeshadow palette that you already have and use a matte from that shadow from that palette <laughs> to make the look, you know? All right, so these are the colors. The formula is beautiful. It lays perfectly. It's full of pigment, it's vibrant, it's silky. I love them. Let me know your favorite colors from these palettes down below in the comment section. I love this shade. The bronze is one of my favorites. I also love this, y'all. This shade is popping. Love this shade right here as well. On this palette, I love this beautiful shade. I love the purple, love the burgundy, love this shim sh <laughs> I can't talk. Love this shimmer shade right here. I also love this orange shade from this palette. And then I also love this salmon -y color. Like I actually like all these colors. They're all really, really pretty, but I'm just showing you guys my top top out of these. Out of these shades, I'm showing you guys my top, I guess. And thank you so much for watching my video. I love you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.